So as you know, I own a hair salon. I also own a men's hair product company, Pete and Pedro. And one of the things that I have loved is seeing the evolution of men's hair, right? From sort of the front lines, ground zero. And what I've been seeing in terms of the evolution over the past few years has been inspiring and amazing. Guys are embracing a lot more natural textures, a lot more flowing styles, but they're also reverting back to some of the classic styles that I grew up with. And so today I'm gonna go over some of these styles that I think you're gonna see. You're gonna see a lot of people actually blending different styles more than ever, which is awesome and super sexy. I'm also real quick going to tell you a few products that you're going to want to pay attention to and possibly upgrade in order to maximize your hair and make it look fresh as hell. The first product real quick is a sea salt spray, right? If you're not using a sea salt spray, you're totally missing out. It's going to add life, volume, texture, and dimension to your hair. It's also gonna make it like naturally thicker without weighting it down like a product actually would. The second product is the texturizing powder. The texturizing powder is unbelievable, right? Unlike a sea salt spray, you actually have the ability to style your hair without actually looking like you've got product in it. It's a very natural look, but it's gonna give you incredible texture, incredible volume, and it really gives that PC separation that a lot of guys are looking for. One of the biggest trends you're seeing is that guys are wanting a lot more natural looking hair. One that doesn't look like it's got a lot of product, it's not weighted down, it's not greasy, oily, or crunchy. Another product that you're gonna need is a hair dryer, but not just any hair dryer. Guys, the one thing I can tell you, if you are looking to do something that's gonna not only be healthier for your hair, it's gonna help you get ready faster, it's also gonna make your hair look 10 times better. Upgrade to a high quality hair dryer. The hair dryer I would recommend is this. It is the Lathan Swift. It is the best hair dryer on the market. Guys, the Lathan Swift has been blowing up in the hair world, right? Everybody is talking about this product because A, it's a higher quality product, the price is absolutely insane, and it dries like crazy fast, all right? Little tutorial, real quick, all right? And then we'll get into the hairstyles. This is an old cheap hair dryer. The problem with these cheap, low quality hair dryers is that A, they're gonna burn your hair, B, they're gonna burn your scalp, and C, they damage your hair. The first high quality hair dryer I got was the Dyson. The problem with this product is that it's literally like 450 bucks. And so that's one of the reasons why I haven't really talked that much about it. But then one day I saw my buddy Travis, who has like super long hair. He basically did a side-by-side -side comparison of the Dyson with the Lathan Swift. And when I saw it, I was like, Travis, you gotta hook me up with this company Lathan because he was basically saying, this thing is a better mousetrap. It's higher quality, it works better, and the price is literally a fraction of the cost of the Dyson. The Lathan Swift is the best hair dryer on the market, period. All right, period. And it's not just my opinion. Everybody in the hair world on YouTube is talking about this product. I brought this into the salon and I had to order basically 30 of these for my stylist because they tried it and they were insanely blown away. And the other reality is that these are a fraction of the cost of these $450 Dysons. Guys, right now, there's a limited time discount link down below. Go through this. You gotta hurry, guys, because the deals, they're not gonna last because this price is absolutely insane. I honestly don't know how they sell this product for the price that they do, but you need one. A few things that I love about it is it's fast. It literally is gonna dry your hair like 10 times faster. So if you're somebody that wants to save time in the morning but still have sexy hair, this is your product, all right? It also has different settings, right? It's got medium, it's got high, but then check it out. See that little ring? That's the medium heat. You press it again, it's hot. Press it again, it's cool. Hold it down and it's actually gonna cycle through the different temperatures. The amount of technology in this hair dryer is insane. Hit that link down below. You are gonna notice an instant difference in how fast you can style your hair, how much healthier it is, how much better it looks. Gentlemen, there is a difference when you upgrade the quality of your hair dryer. Guys, regardless of the style you're going for, you need this product, period. I got that special link, don't wait. They come in a bunch of different colors. This is the best dryer on the market. So the first hairstyle we're gonna talk about is the buzz cut slash crew cut. All right, now, in terms of what the difference is, basically a buzz cut is when you take it super short all the way around, right? Yes, this is a style, but honestly, it's not really a style. All right, in my opinion, the crew cut 
where it's going to be a little bit longer on top and then tightly faded on the temples, also the back. So the faded crew cut, in my opinion, is one of the sexiest styles out there. All right, now, if you're somebody that has a nice shaped head, this looks amazing. If you've got a great hairline, even better. If you've got attractive facial features, this makes you more attractive. A little pro tip though, if you wanna elevate, upgrade it, gentlemen, add a beard. Facial hair looks amazing when combined with this style. It's rugged, it's sexy, it's manly, and it's gonna be wildly popular this year. The second style that's gonna be wildly popular is the French crop, all right? It's kind of like a crew cut, but a little bit longer and stylized up top, right? You're still gonna have a little bit tighter, tapered sides. Some people go with just a simple low temple fade, or you can go a little bit higher in terms of your fade, but the whole signature with this is that it's gonna be PC separation, a ton of life, a ton of movement, right? Up top, it's not gonna be up, it's gonna be down, and it's kind of like a modified sort of modern Caesar cut, right? Which also still looks incredible. The third style is old money perfection, and that is the classic side part. The side part is a men's style that will always be popular, and one of the reasons is that it looks literally great on everybody. It looks amazing on you if you've got a round face, a diamond shaped face, a square face. The side part looks incredible. Now, there are a few different options in terms of how to style it, right? And it really boils down to the product that you're using. All right, if you want it to be a little bit more shiny, you're gonna use something like a pomade. A little bit more natural, you're gonna use something like a matte product, or even the texture powder will work amazingly. The fourth style is one of my all-time favorite, and it is the modern mullet. This bad boy won't quit, and it's getting better with age and time. All right, now, a great way to style this, in my opinion, is shorter on top, right? Whether or not you wanna go with a fringe or a little bit more textured, you could go curly, and then you're gonna let the back grow. But one of the keys to this looking incredible is tapering and fading the temples also back here low on the outside of your neck, all right? Almost like a little bit of a faux hawk. It's almost like the faux hawk meets the mullet, right? This style is crazy wickedly sexy. It's also amazing for most dudes, right? Because even if you've got a receding hairline, this looks amazing, all right? If you've got a good hairline, even better. If you wanna combine the mullet with a beard, that's amazing, or you wanna max it out, C-bum style, go stash with the mullet. Perfection. The next style is messy fringe, right? The messy fringe, once again, is gonna be back, but it's gonna be a little bit more stylized. A lot more guys are gonna be going low fade on the temples, also low fade in the back. It's gonna give it more shape, it's gonna give it a more stylized look, but it's still gonna look amazing. And the thing that I love so much about the style is that it's casual. If you've got curly hair, if you've got wavy hair, if you've got a lot of texture, right, naturally, this style looks sexy as hell. The next style, getting a little bit longer, gentlemen, is the flow, right? Basically, this is you're letting your hair grow a little bit longer all over, right? Pushing it back, maybe a slick back look, or you're doing curtains. Bottom line is the hair is gonna be a little bit longer. It's a more natural, free-flowing look that looks crazy sexy. Now, the caveat to this is that this style was also popular last year, and a lot of guys kept it growing. And so, one thing you're gonna see a lot more of are man buns. I'm telling you, gentlemen, they're coming back this year more than ever because of the last few years of guys letting their hair grow and really embracing the length. A lot of the guys that have let their hair grow are are gonna be looking for something to do with it, right? So they're gonna do possibly like a messy bun, sort of a top knot, sumo style. It's a great way to basically get the hair back. It's also an amazing way to basically dress it up. If you're somebody that does have a longer style and you wanna like get suited and booted or wear a suit or just look a little bit more polished and refined, pull it back, right? Tie it up. Which brings me to the next style, and that is the slick back hairstyle, right? This is a perfect style for guys that have medium length hair, that basically wanna be a little bit more polished, a little bit more old money aesthetic without doing like a side part. It's a great look. Now, the one thing you're gonna need is a high hold product, right? Because in order to keep the hair back, you're gonna need something with a high hold, also possibly a little bit of a shine. The great thing about the slick back is that it's easy to do, right? Out of the shower, after you apply your product, right? Basically, you're just pulling it back, you're slicking it back. Now, the caveat to this is, as it dries, a lot of times it will sort of fall down. And so, you're gonna need a high quality product that's a high hold, possibly a medium shine. Um, what I would not recommend is a hair gel. This basically is gonna make it look like a helmet, but the cool thing is that after you style it, you can also hit it with a hairspray in order to lock it into place. The next style that's gonna be popular still is the quiff. The quiff is gonna come in a lot of different varieties, right? Depending on your hair texture, depending on the length, depending on how tight 
tight, you want it on the sides. Depending on how much maintenance you want is really gonna determine what you do with the sides, right? Whether or not you go with a tight fade, this is gonna require you to go in every two to three weeks to get it tightened up and faded, or you wanna go with something a little bit more natural, a little bit longer on the sides. You're gonna be able to push out your hairstyle and not have to go into the salon as often in order to get it touched up. But bottom line is the quiff is still gonna be sexy. And the last style I call luscious locks of sexiness, <laughs> right? Basically, you're a dude, your hair's a little bit longer, a little bit longer than medium, right? But not quite like super like down your back, right? The style, it's kind of a little bit all over the place, a little bit like surfer hair, right? It's gonna be messy, it's gonna be textured, it's gonna be a little bit more rambunctious and playful, right? This style doesn't work as well with guys that have like super thin or straight hair, right? If you've got a little bit more texture, a little bit of wave, a little bit of natural volume, or you've got thick hair, this style looks amazing. You combine it with the sea salt, also a texturizing powder, it looks absolutely insanely sexy, right? You look like a model. Model hair, literally you look like a model, right? Just kind of rugged and sexy and women want to run their hands through that luscious mane of sexiness, gentlemen. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. Something else that's gonna happen is styles change and they evolve, right? Things that were popular before, like the undercut, not so much anymore, all right? Overly stylized hairstyles, also not as popular. Guys are gravitating towards things that are a little bit more natural looking, a little bit more low maintenance. They're having fun, they're being playful and they're definitely looking sexy.